hi everyone welcome back to this channel just in case you are new here please do like and subscribe my name is Cyril in this channel I'm sharing with you my knowledge on Oracle the Linux administration and cloud infrastructure so in the previous video I have shown you how to install Oracle Linux 8.4 on VirtualBox also, I've also show you how to install Grid Infrastructure 19C cluster. And the latest was Oracle Database Rack software installation. The first three, three steps already done. Today we are going to proceed with the last steps of this Rack installation, which is database creation using DBCA. Just in case you have not seen the video, the, the first three steps, you can just go to my YouTube channel and then you will find the database creation recording, database creation, database of Oracle software. You will find the software creation video here, Oracle Rack Data 19C software installation. So you come to my YouTube channel and then you will find Oracle Rack 19C software installation from VirtualBox. In case you don't know how to install Oracle Linux on VirtualBox, Oracle Linux 8.4, you come to my YouTube channel, you will find the recording here. Oracle Linux 8.4 installation on VirtualBox. About grid infrastructure installation, you will find the recording here, grid infrastructure installation. You go to my channel and then you will find it here, grid infrastructure installation on VirtualBox. There is one very important part of this grid infrastructure installation, which is DNS configuration. For DNS configuration, I have also created a separate video on which I'm showing you how to set up a DNS server for a rack installation. So you'll find this video here. So with that being said, we are going to proceed with the database creation. Before the database creation, let me check if my Cluster is up and running. My grid infrastructure cluster is perfectly working fine. I have here my SM instance and the management instance, which is up open. And also And also, we can verify the NS lookup. If we are able to resolve the node one, node two, and scan. So, all working fine. So now for database creation using DBCA, we will directly go and run DBCA. So we are going with the new database creation. So we will select the first option, database creation. Next. Here we select the advanced configuration. You go for advanced configuration. General purpose database and transaction. So we are not going to create a pool of databases. We are going with admin manager database. So it's properly select here, a real application cluster database. And you chose admin manage 
patterns. Click next. These are our two nodes selected. Click next. SSH connectivity done. We are going to give the database name here. I'm calling my database PDOADB. I'm not creating any container database. I'm going with non CDB database. In case you don't know what is container database, don't worry. I will create a separate recording on multi tenant architecture. Click next. Here we are going for automatic storage management. So I have created two this group. DG underscore data. So here you will select DG underscore data, this group. This is correct. OMF, this is fine. We use OMF. Oracle manage file. Next. Here you need to check this. I'm going with archive log mode. I'm going to enable archiving on my database. Then for fast recovery area, you choose, you select the FRA, this group, fast recovery area. 5 GB, click OK. And then for fast recovery size, since we are having 5, 5 GB only for the, this group, so that this group, I will put 4 GB here. Click Next. Here we are not configuring any Oracle database vault. Also, no Oracle label security. Click Next. For SGA, I will give 1 GB. And PGA, I will give 250. Six. Sizing I will keep default. In the production environment, you can increase this. You will you, you, you should increase this. Character set I will keep default. I will not change anything. So the character set will depend on the database creation and what's the purpose of that. Sample schema, we don't want any schema, right? So with this, you click next. I don't want to configure any enterprise manager in my database. I will uncheck this. I can keep this verification utility C view. This is fine. Click next. Here I will set the password for everyone. System Sys and DB, DB SNNP. Click Next. Here no need to change anything. Click Next. Okay, I'm receiving this fast recovery area. Size is less than recommended. This is fine. I will say I want to continue, yes. All fine. We can click finish. And the installation will start.
So the database creation is completed. As we can see here, Pidoa DB completed. We click close. Now let's check CS CTN. Okay, when we check our cluster now, we can see Pidoa database created and it's open on board node. We can now log in. DBA. Instance, we need to set the parameter. Okay, this is done. They are connected to our database. Okay. So, with this, we are closing this session. So, the fourth, the last part is also done. Okay. So, we are done with all. First part, Linux installation. Second part, grid infrastructure cluster installation. Third part, Oracle database rack software installation. The last part, Oracle 2 node rack database creation using DBCA. So with this, we are done with this um, series of four videos. Please do like and subscribe. Also share the content of my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.